syndicated radio host, host of Life, Liberty, and Levin here on Fox News Channel, and the author of the new book, American Marxism. Number one, New York Times bestseller, sold 400,000 copies in the first week. Mark, thanks for being here. Congratulations. It's a great pleasure. Thank you, my friend. You know, we're coming out of this piece from Mike Emanuel. We've talked a lot about um, race and uh, the efforts in schools to change how we talk about our history. In this book, you essentially say that's part of a plan. Look, here's the thing, Brett. Um, this book has over 400 endnotes. People say to me, who are these Marxists? I've got stacks and stacks of books. I've read their stuff. I've read what these professors have written. I read what they teach. I read the National Education Associ Association, the American Federation of Teachers. I look back at the history, and I'll give you a perfect example. That is an unbelievably good journalistic piece that was just shown and that you folks at Fox have been showing. You dug into this deeply. You've done something nobody else does. Okay, when you look at the background of critical race theory, this comes out of critical theory. Where does that come from? It comes from a school called the Franklin School that comes out of Berlin. These are a group of Marxists. One of the gentlemen fled Hitler, came to the United States. He became a very prominent professor. His name is Herbert Marcuse. He was the founding father, basically, of the critical theory. Critical theory was the basis for the New Left Movement, the Weather Underground, the SDS, and all the rest. And then you have a gentleman by the name of Derek Bell at Harvard Law School, first at Stanford, then at Harvard. He takes this idea, which I'll get to quickly, and he racializes it. And Thomas Sowell had written about him over the years and said the guy was a kook. It's a fringe ideology. Critical race theory, just to put it in plain English, is basically Louis Farrakhan dressed up as scholarship. That's what it is. Hate America, anti-Semitic, anti-white. And so we try to put some kind of historical perspective on it. The perspective is that anything white is bad because that's the dominant culture. You dehumanize people. You don't treat them as individuals. It is a Marxist ideology brought here out of Berlin because they want this. You have to have classes. You need to have oppressors and oppressed. The idea that this got into our classrooms, and, and many parents found out about it because of the pandemic, they're watching their screen, they're watching what their children are being taught, and they're going, what in the world is going on here? That is what's going on. Kendi and others who've written these massively popular books about it, they didn't invent this ideology. This ideology was invented half a century ago. And the you know, idea that it's in our schools is unbelievable. I read the book, and you, you make some really interesting points, but from the other side, the pushback would be that you're going too far, that you're labeling too many people Marxists, and that this is not behind what the Biden administration is trying to do. When you hear that from somebody who wants to give the Biden administration the benefit of the doubt, what do you say? I ask them, what have they read? I can cite dozens and dozens of people. I can show you dozens and dozens of professors tenured in this country. I can show you Black Lives Matter and the leadership, which proudly says that they are doctrinaire Marxists. I can show you book after book after book after book after book, one after another after another, that are in our classrooms, that are in the uh, public culture right now. And this is the thing. I don't go around calling everybody Marxists. I say that this is an American Marxist, various these movements that are taken from these various scholars and various uh, in various movements, many of them in Europe. Uh, and it's not just critical race theory. Well, what is it? What is it when you're teaching to destroy our, our monuments, to destroy our books, to destroy our history, to push a, a racist ideology? You talk about taking down the economic system, people riding in the streets, uh, uh, and when people themselves self-identify as Marxists and so forth. What am I supposed to call them, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts? Yeah. All right, so listen, at the end of the book, you have your own prescriptions about the way forward. And basically, the message is that you have to not let this go too far and take back the country. Is that fair? Yeah, my message is that people who love this country, I don't care what color you are, what religion you are, what kind of sex you practice, I don't care. Let's put some of our differences aside and let us take on the people who don't in legitimate ways, ways that America supports one institution after another because they're being devoured. The children in elementary school, the borders, the attack on our economic system, 
Uh, this degrowth movement dressed up as climate change, yes, and there are many ideas in the back of the book, links, groups, uh, red-blooded Americans who care about this country, it's time to push back. All right, the book is American Marxism. Uh, Mark, we appreciate you coming on, and congrats. Thank you very much. God bless.